Hello everyone, Tom Howard here with At Home with Tom and Rhonda. I'm going to go out here to the uh, animals and let's feed Diamond and pet Diamond and Emerald. See how they're doing. Make sure that they're all right. Hello my beautiful babies. How are my beautiful babies today? I got y'all all in the house. There's Diamond She Shed. And it actually says that on the door. Diamond She Shed. She's got the best doghouse in the world, probably. One of the best, anyway. It's all hers. And Emerald gets to share it because she's her baby. Yes, she is. Now, I'm going to pet one of them. Get down. Get down. You tell me which one you think is Diamond and which one you think is Emerald. Diamond is the mom. And she's four years old this November. And Emerald is her baby. And Emerald's only a year old. But I want you to look at the size. Oh, my gosh. There they are. Sit down, girls. Sit. 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 There you go. That's my babies. Now, which one do you think is Emerald? And which one do you think is Diamond? Based on the way they're acting. Didn't I tell y'all to sit, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think you got it right. The rambunctious one that's taken off right there is Emerald. And this is Diamond. That's okay, baby. We love you. Okay, we're going to go in here and feed the horses and the dogs. This is inside their little shed. And they've got plenty of water and food. You can see that. And now we're going to feed the horses. You guys want to help me feed the horses, huh? You're such a good baby. Yes, you are. He's a good baby. And Emerald has not been to obedience school because she uh, kind of got in the COVID area, in the COVID era. So she didn't go to obedience school. But you can really tell the difference between the dogs that do and the dogs that don't. Okay, let me pull down these buckets. Are you thirsty, girl? We'll fill these up for the horses. All right. I like to feed the horses every day, once a day, because it's hard to feed them twice a day when you work. So we're just going to feed them once a day. But we're going to feed them with some all stock and some oats and some alfalfa and if you have different feed that that you think is good for horses uh, I'll be glad to order it if you'll pay for it because I can't afford the horse feed as it is <laughs> it's so expensive to feed these big animals it's unreal I love them to death but they are not cheap animals what do you think baby huh don't they look a lot alike? It's unreal how much diamond and emerald look alike. There's my diamond baby. And there's the emerald. He's a happy face. All right, let's go out here and feed these horses. Come on, girls. Hey, big boy, how you doing? Huh? How you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, no, all the wind. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That was a horse shed, just like that one. And it got blown over by the wind. And it stuck in Jared Crocker's fence. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to get over here. I got some work to do. I'll get back with you in a minute. Smile for me. Okay, let's go over here and feed Big Pocket. Come on, Big Pocket. 
How you doing, buddy? There you go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, yeah. Hello? Hello, how you doing? You like being on the camera? Huh? You like being on the camera? Come here, come here. You don't like that dog over here, do you? <laughs> it's okay. Hi guys, Tom here with At Home and Tom and Rhonda. I got home today and you know the Texas winds were bad. There were all kinds of wind warnings. Well, when I got home, I came home to this. Yep, that's it. The horse shed blew over, knocked over the chicken coop and all the barrels, the little house that Jason and Jared built for us back there that said Howard Farms on it when we first got our animals, that's over on its side. Everything's pretty much destroyed back here, including the fence, it's all torn down. Now it's leaning up against Jared's fence, but it hadn't torn it up, in fact, Right there, you can see where it's coming through the metal. That's one of Jared's posts. So, let's see what else I can find here. We're walking around. Those are the chicken coops. I did retrieve one egg. <laughs> I don't know how it survived. But it knocked over all the petitions. What a mess. I was going to get out here and clean that up, but I don't have to now. Dead gum. It knocked over the little quail cage. And here's what I'm worried about. I got to get that off Jared's fence because he's trying to sell his property now. The last thing he needs is for people to come over and see that thing on his fence. I don't think it will damage it, but if it does, we will fix it I gotta call Traveler's Insurance tomorrow and let them know what happened what a mess well, they said it was gonna be high winds today and they weren't joking this is crazy You can see Jared's place right back there. And there's his barn. Good grief. Tore our fence up. Oh, well. Let's go over here and look at this. The other horse barn is right here. It did not get any damage that I can see. It looks just fine. Go we'll all the way around it and show you what I mean. in the ground so to have a problem like we had 
you know the wind had to be high. This one's just fine. That's the one. And the horses don't know what to think. They're a little confused right now. The chickens are really confused. They've all gone out there to that little field. And you can see them on the other side of those trees. They've all run over there because they're scared. This is the back side of my, uh, it's about a hundred foot of fence. And I've got boards holding it up because it fell over. And you just keep going down this way. There's the fence from Jared's backyard looking into my yard. It blew over that fence and went over into Jared's fence. Man, that wind's high. Wow. That's, that's what it's done there. This is what it's done here. It has not blown the fence over yet, but it sure dented it in right here. So I'm gonna have to straighten up those poles and re-cement them in, and then uh, fix any wire that might be too damaged. But I don't see any breaks in the wire. I think it just needs to be tightened. But that'll be up to Jared. If he wants something different done, we'll do that. I'm all about fixing what is his. Okay. I wanted you to see it from his backyard so that you would know. 